It's uh, 4.30 in the morning. We drove about an hour and 30 minutes to uh, about like 15 minutes outside of Glenwood. And the highway was closed, so I-70 was closed because a semi went over two lanes. So we are at Holy Cross instead today. About 11 miles, 5,000 feet of elevation gain. It is cold and early. So we'll see how it goes. Wow, this great view that everybody can see on the go. <laughs> Step in front of a runaway train Just to feel alive again Pushing forward through the night Aching just to worry side It's so far, so far away It's so far, so far It is 5.36, about two miles in. We just past like the overpass and we're like in like the valley. Cause you have to go up to this pass and down to this valley and then up to Holy Cross. So we just were like in that valley about to gain all of our elevation and the sun is coming up right now. So far, so far away It's so far, so far away Who are you trying to press? Steadily creating mess Top of Holy Cross, 1411. He destroyed me up. I felt like crap the whole way up. I think it's just because we got up so damn early yeah, for no sucks. reason. But the summit's awesome. There's not a lot of wind. It's a little chilly up here, but it's an overall nice day. you 
We're just chilling up on the summit. There's no wind at all. We are looking to the, the west though, and there is a big storm. So we will have to leave pretty soon. So all good times come to an end. special about uh, Holy Cross is right when you think you're done with the hike and it's all downhill you actually have to gain another thousand because we came over a pass to get to the mountain itself so we're currently on that right now oh, I'm so tired I don't know about Quinn but he's smoking me Just above the trailhead overall a super awesome day with a really rough morning who knows I told you guys about 11 miles round trip 5,000 feet of elevation gain we are tired I'll tell you that but thanks for watching